In this lesson, we will go over the creation of three fold brushes that we will use in the following videos. So I'm mainly going to go over three brush settings, gravity, lazy mouse, and embed. So I'm going to start off by going to the brush palette and hitting this icon to dock it on the right. I then want to grab my standard brush and then hit the clone button. So the first setting I want to go over is gravity and that's under the depth sub palette. So if I turn gravity on, this first icon controls the direction that the gravity will fall. So it can fall from uh, pointing up or to the side, but I'm going to leave it pointing down by default. And then I'm going to set the gravity strength to 50. So the next setting I want to tweak is the stroke. So I'm going to hit this icon and dock it to the right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the lazy mouse settings. And I'm going to set my lazy radius to about 8. And so what this is going to do is actually going to delay my stroke a little further and give me a little bit more of a controlled stroke. So I then want to go to the modifiers and set my roll distance to 5. This is going to give me a little bit of a smoother stroke. So if I demonstrate this brush, you'll see that it creates kind of these big, soft folds. And so this is going to be kind of like a blocking brush for the exercises. And so if I turn it to the side, you can see that it's actually the gravity is pulling this stroke down. So the next brush that we're going to create is a variation on this brush. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to hit the save button and I'm going to save this brush as fold 01 and then what I'm going to do is actually clone this brush. So it will keep all the same settings that I have for Fold 01. And all I'm going to do to this brush is add Alpha 35. And so what this is going to do is just give me a little bit of a tighter fold. And if I decrease my brush size, you'll see that um, this will actually be really nice for getting smaller folds or secondary folds. So. This will be a, a really nice brush in conjunction with uh, Fold 01. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this as Fold 02. And so the last brush that we're going to create is a variation on the pinch brush. So I'm going to go to my brush palette and hit P and get the pinch brush. And then I'm going to hit Clone. And so what I want to do is I want to use the embed feature. So the pinch brush by default uh, just, you know, does what it says. It pinches, you know, the stroke or, or whatever area you use it on. And what I want to do with embed is I actually want to give it, you know, I want the strokes that I use with the pinch to kind of lift off of the surface. So if I set this to 100 and I increase the intensity, you'll get a better idea of what's going to happen. So kind of creates this really tight pinch that comes off of the surface. So I don't want to leave it at 100. I probably want to leave it around 10. So probably even bring it down a little bit more. So what this is going to do, and actually bring the intensity down as well. So what this is going to do is going to allow me to kind of just tighten up some areas um, it's going to be more used as a finishing brush. So the next thing I want to do is actually uh, modify. Well, I first want to save this as fold pinch. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to modify my UI. So I'm going to go up to config and hit enable customize. I then want to hold down control and alt and I want to grab fold one and put it down here and fold two and fold pinch. I also want to grab my gravity strength settings and put them here as well as the embed. So as I'm working I can uh, tweak these brushes on the fly. So I'm just going to enable uh, disable enable customize and then just store config. So next time I open up ZBrush, I'll have the same UI. 
And so just to recap, we, we created three fold brushes using the brush settings Gravity, Lazy Mouse, and Embed. So, and then we added them to our UI using the custom uh, UI settings or enable customize. And um, I'll see you in the next lesson.